Father, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. Well, our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer, and our friend. I thank you, Father, that we are accepted in the Beloved. A slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son, a daughter, belongs forever. And I thank you, Father, that when you see us, you see us as your children. See how great the love that the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we are. Father, I pray that the revelation of your love, the the true revelation of being born again into your kingdom, the eternal knowing that we have been born of incorruptible seed, And we have an inheritance that will never fade away. Father, I just pray by the power of your Holy Spirit that lives within us that you would make these things known. That deep would call to deep. We just breathe in your love. We just breathe in your life today. We are not orphans. We are not servants. We are not slaves. We are sons and daughters to Yahweh. We are joint heirs with Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. So thank you, Father, that you have given us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we can know you better. You are Abba. You are our Father. And we are your little ones. And we just breathe in every bit of life that is around us that is in us, that is before us, that is behind us, that you encompass us with your presence. You encompass us with your goodness. You indwell us with your nature. Because you have given us the spirit of your own son, Jesus. Father, would you show us today what it means to be joint heirs with Jesus? Would you open the eyes of our heart today, Father, so that we could see into your kingdom like we have never seen before. Uh, 
so that we would know the hope of our calling and the glorious inheritance that we have together with all the saints. Yeah. Abba, we belong to you. We came from you. We choose to believe that you are true. That the words that Jesus said to us, the promises that he made to us, came from your heart. Wow. That you really are our Father. And we really are your sons and your daughters. Help us to see into the unseen realm today. Help us to fix our eyes on the eternal and not the temporal. Father, would you raise our gaze to heaven? that we would fix our eyes, fix our thoughts. Think of these good things, Father. Whatever is pure, whatever is holy, whatever is noble, whatever is of a good report. Father, we choose to think on these things. Help us today, Father, to see our birthright, our true kingdom inheritance. That we are your workmanship. We are your handiwork. We are kings and priests forever. We are seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ in heavenly places. You have given us joint seating with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lamb of God, King of kings and Lord of lords, our Savior, our Redeemer, our friend, our healer, and our big brother. Thank you for sharing your inheritance with us. And for becoming the way home so that your father could become our father. (sighs) This is why we were created. This is our destiny, to live loved, 
to live secure. To live with the revelation that we are being carried every moment of every day of our lives. We just breathe in your love. Thank you that you set our hearts at rest. So we choose to be at rest today.